Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you're doing awesome, possum. Welcome back to episode 11 of Kingdoms in Castles. So we just got attacked by two dragons and six boats full of Vikings. They're they're getting they're getting super hardcore. <laughs> Honestly, it really wasn't too bad. It just looks scarier than it was. Um, we're rebuilding everything and we're working on getting this bathhouse up and running with some uh, some water. So let's see. We can build another aqueduct. The aqueducts are super expensive, so once we get this connected to our Noria right here, we're going to be able to uh, get this reservoir full of water, and then that'll that will uh, fuel this bathhouse with water. And then our peeps can finally stop getting all disgusting and gross, clean their dirty little bodies off. Uh, we have so much wood, there's no place to put it. Alright, uh... Let's go ahead and work on building a couple stockpiles, shall we? Let's see, that's a stockpile right there. Let's go ahead and build two more stockpiles right here. That'll be good, a good spot for all the wood. Uh, Alright, where's the stockpiles at again? Small stockpile. There's a one, there's a two. All right, cool. And then I'm thinking that once this reservoir is full of water as well, it'll probably make this ground fertile, I'm thinking. So if I wanted to, I could put I could put a farm down here with a windmill and everything. Vitus Varnus has died of old age along with four other peasants. Yeah, gosh, we are running out of uh, space for the dead people. Oh my gosh, guys. We, we need... <laughs> Uh, wow. We need some more room. This stockpile right here is not really filling up. I think maybe it's just because they can't get to it. I don't really know. No, some people are bringing stuff to it. Huh, I don't know. Uh, 38 people visited the kingdom and 21 decided to stay. Welcome, ladies and gentle peeps, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay at Eggland Kingdom. We've got a great record for defending against uh, the rats of the sky and the uh, bearded vikings. Alright, we got 59 stones so we can build one more aqueduct. Alright, let's just keep going along right here, and we'll try to connect it down to this one. Actually, I might just connect it to the center piece right here, so I can build walls right here. For protection. I'm trying to plan out how I'm going to get over to this island. Probably from down here, I'm thinking, with a bridge. But it would be nice to put a bridge over here as well, from, like, right there. Or maybe, like, right there. Or right there. <laughs> Somewhere. Alright, we're at 67 happiness. We need more taverns. My god, these drunkards. Alright, uh, where do we want a tavern at, guys? And where do we want to start expanding to next? I guess I could just put another tavern right over here, right? I think I might want to start expanding up into this area next. So we'll, we'll work on that, I think. And you know what I'm wondering? If the rock removal is going to give me stone. I could try it. Let's see, where's that cave? Right there. So I could get rid of this cave, I guess, and see what happens. Let's do it. Let's just see what happens. Uh, 
All right, looks like we're full on housing as well. We need more, uh, more places for people to stay. Ooh, looks like we got a decent amount of stone all of a sudden. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Just a couple more. Literally two more. Oh my gosh. All we need is 80 stone. And then hopefully this bathhouse is going to make our happiness go up a lot. I would... Oh, crap! We're losing so much gold. I totally forgot to, to uh, close these up. we got to save up so we don't run out. So we have enough to actually man these once the next attack happens. I also kind of want to replace my archer towers with ballistas because the ballistas seem so much better. It says soldier skills 99%. I wonder if it resets when you close it or not. I don't know. Yeah, now it says 0%. I don't know. So maybe it's better if you keep it... Uh, keep it open all the time? I don't know. Alright, I think everything's closed. Alright. But I mean, I'm gonna have to demolish these and rebuild them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Because I want them to be able to shoot a lot further. We have a lot of wood. Food storages are running low, it says. Oh crap, it is. Wow. I guess I need more food, like, straight away. That bathhouse probably screwed me. <laughs> Once this area gets irrigated, I'll build some farms down here. The rock removal thing's almost done. I'm curious to see what that's gonna do. Year 79, guys. 79. Alright, it's built. We're at 28 stone. Oh, cool. It says permanently remove this deposit. Complete removal. Sire, we've just reclaimed some space by destroying some unusable stone. Did it give me some? It just jumped. I don't know if that was just a coincidence, though. Huh. Interesting. Well, now trees can be built there. And it looks a little bit better. Alright, we've got enough stone to do one of the aqueducts that we need. Now we just need one more. Alright, we need more houses no matter what. I think we might build houses down in this area. And they'll be within range of the bathhouse as well. Which will be good. Very good. I think I'll put one more manor over here though as well. Ah, oh, we need that aqueduct! <laughs> Alright, we'll do the aqueduct first so we can get the bathhouse up and running. Then we'll do the manners and worry about that. And then we'll worry about defenses. Oh, I should totally do, uh, go take out these wolves, shouldn't I? I don't think anyone's died from a wolf in a long time, but it would be nice to be able to kill those guys. Alright, we've got enough for this final aqueduct. Here we go. Oh, baby. Now we just gotta build that sucker. Let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we definitely need more food. This is not good. Hopefully they don't start actually starving to death. Whoa, weird. Tragically, one of our peasants has died under mysterious circumstances. It's Jack the Ripper, ladies and gentlemen. He's still at it. He's going strong. Come on, build faster, you fools! Jeez, we got like... Half of our kingdom is, is idle. 230 people are idle. 237. Oh my gosh. I need jobs for these guys. This would be a great spot up here for farms, actually, because it's all really... Uh, it's all really fertile, you know? I guess I should probably build another Noria over here and then a reservoir. Ooh, I gotta kill these wolves. Alright, let's, uh, let's recruit a couple guys. And by couple, I mean five. <laughs> Jeez, these take a long-ass time, don't they? Year 80. Oh yeah, we're dying. Uh, we, we, we really need food. I can't wait. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just go do farms, I guess, with windmills, probably. That'd probably be the best thing to do. I'm trying to plan it out. So we can put a windmill right there. We can do another one right there. Alright, let's go like so. And we'll just need an aqueduct for this place to get it all nice and fertile. We can probably just put the aqueduct, like, right in the middle here or something. Oh, they're almost done, guys. One peasant left the kingdom because they're so unhappy. My god! Cheer up, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Maybe it's good they're leaving. <laughs> To be honest with you. We just don't have enough food. We went from having a, a plethora of food to having no food. Alright, what do we need for a windmill? We're good to go. Alright, windmills should be able to help that out a lot. Oh, it's almost there. You're 81. It's done, baby. Wait, do I have to directly connect this to Anoria? Are you serious? Are my dreams crushed? I think my dreams are crushed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Four peasants left the kingdom because they're miserable. Gosh, we still need more food, guys. This is crazy. Alright, hold on. Let's read a little bit more about the Noria and stuff. Yeah, it says it provides irrigation. I guess I just have to directly connect this somehow? That sucks, but... <laughs> okay, so you can go over walls or through them, it looks like. And wait, so I can build on top of pre-existing structures? Alright, so it looks like I can build over the farms. Uh... Okay. I guess I'll give that a shot. So I need two more. That's pretty cool. That helps out a lot. I'm kind of bummed out that that didn't work. 
Makes sense, though. All right, so is this grass eventually? Oh, okay, it says receiving irrigation. It says it's ready for agriculture. So it looks like I can put farms on it now? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Interesting. So I guess it's not completely like brownish yellow. It's actually like a slightly green tinted to show it's receiving irrigation. That's pretty neat. All right, let's go put a couple farms over here, I think, as well. Uh, I guess we'll do... I kind of want to do an orchard. You know, I haven't really done one of those in a while. Go ahead and do that. And we need more roads. Can we build another one now? Is it close enough to a road? It is. Cool. Mm, go ahead and do that. And can we build farms under these now? Okay, we can. Cool. That is pretty cool, actually. I like that. All right, right on. That will help a lot, and it'll put a lot of people to work. And can we build a tavern right now? Where's it at? Am I blind? Man, oh, it's right here. All right, let's just go put one right here, since we just really, really need one. Regardless of it being right next to that one. <laughs> Ooh, it says no food to serve. Man, my people are really starving. Man, everybody's starving. Oh my gosh. All right, we can build another one of uh, our aqueducts. We need one more to connect it. I mean, at least I think that's going to connect it. I hope it will. All right, we're at year 82, guys. Happiness is going up. Yeah, everybody needs needs food, it looks like. You know what I might do? I might go ahead. Oh crap, my lord, one peasant died of starvation. No way! Wow. That blows. <laughs> uh, I might go ahead and do a windmill down here. And more farms. Dude, let's just load up the farms. Let's just get this going. All right, we almost have enough for that aqueduct. There we go. Finally. All right, now it just has to get built. I'm trying my best to, to get the food back up. It's just all of a sudden out of nowhere, man. I'm just starving. Starving Marvin right here. One peasant left the kingdom. I think we're I think we need more cemeteries soon, don't we? Oh, that guy's dying. He's starving to death. So was that guy. He just had a big burp. 
<laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh no, another one died of starvation. How is this happening? How is this happening? Oh, the uh, the uh, the bathhouse is finally almost done. Maybe if they get that windmill going, it'll it'll help out. It looks like the orchards really benefit from irrigation. It says plus four for receiving irrigation. Oh, oh, they're still building it. Never mind. They still have a whole other one to do. Wait. Are they actually building it? I think they are. Yeah. Alright, we're still... We're still starving. Why are we still starving? What is going on here? This is not good, man. This is not good. Alright, uh, can I build farms back here? I can. At least right there. Any open spots I'm missing? I could build one back there. That's kind of a weird spot, but okay. <laughs> Whatever we can do, honestly. How much does another Noria cost? 85 stone? Hmm. It would be nice to irrigate a lot of this out here. Or if I could... If, oh, I could get some irrigation through here. Oh, that would be cool. These are getting plus one from irrigation. And these are getting irrigated. So they're receiving plus one happiness. But yeah, stuff is just not working out right now. Everybody's starving. I just have way too many people. Alright, I think this is just going to be exclusively farmland right here. All right, let's see about where would a good spot for a reservoir be? All right, let's see. One, two, three, probably out here somewhere. So let's go ahead and build some more farms. Oops. Too far away from the roads. Crap. All right, uh, we need to build roads around this then. Alright, now we got roads. Oh, and we can build the um, the windmill right there. That's perfect. I think, anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, can we put the windmill there? We can, cool. Bath oh, the bathhouse is finally running, baby! Oh, yeah. Happiness is giving 9 in radius. So, is that giving plus 9 to everyone in the radius, or what? How does that work? Uh... Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. So, plus 9, I think, to every home. Wow, that's freaking awesome. That's going to help me so much. Oh, yeah, look at that happiness rise. All right, it's rising, baby. Hopefully our food situation improves here pretty soon. This is getting crazy. <laughs> I 
All right, uh, we need to focus on defenses now. God, food is still such a such a pain, though. I'm not going to build any more houses because I honestly don't want any more people living here right now. Because I'm I'm not I'm having a tough time sustaining them. We're at year 84, also by the way. Minus 26 for minus 25 for the recent food shortage. 24. All right, so we're finally getting food. It's it looks like it's going down. 23. Minus 22. Okay, cool. Things are kind of stabilizing. Um, now what do I want to do? I kind of want to build a wall that goes straight up like this. But that's going to take way too long. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that in time to properly defend. Because how much does one castle cost again? It's 12 stone and I only have 108. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Alright, we're gonna wanna we're gonna want a wall over there eventually. Or not a wall, a uh, a gate. Bill Woods has died of old age along with eight other peasants. Alright, merchant ships coming in. We have nine hundred and forty two wood in climbing. Let's go ahead and pause that. Let's sell a ton of wood. If we can, let's see, wood amount to sell, so I can only sell 34, it looks like. So we have 854 gold. How much is that going to give us now? 888, so that was like nothing. All right, well, we're almost maxed out on gold unless we build another treasury or something. So let's just go ahead and buy a bunch of stone. Let's just go buy everything he's got. Brought us down to 573 gold. Not a big deal. Can we sell anything else? Uh, we could sell iron. We're not really using it. Alright, we sold 23 iron. And we'll call that good right there. So that gave us a little bit of stone. Got us back up to 80. Let's see. I'm not sure where I want my stone gate just yet, so we'll just keep building the wall. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Wow, that actually helped out quite a bit. I just wish I could buy more stone. So I wonder if the Vikings will actually go around the wall or if they'll start to attack it. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. Alright, 15 people decided to stay. And we are maxed out on people now. 576 out of 576. We just need two more stone walls and then we're totally walled in over here. I'm just trying to protect my farms because, you know, it's kind of sketchy right now. Alright, uh, we need... Uh, we need a well over here as well. <laughs> we, need a, we need a well as well. <laughs> Makes sense. Alright, one more, guys. There we go. Boom. It's all blocked in. So, can we actually build another treasury? I think so. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see once we get to 50 stone if we can actually build another one so we can store more than 1,000 gold. And I'm wondering if we should start doing moats. That might be kind of cool. Like, put it around the main wall right here.
All right, we're finally doing good on food. It's back up into the 400s. And happiness is booming, 83. Right on. We have over a thousand wood. We are killing it in the wood department. Killing it, slaying it. All right, I want another Noria and I'll put it over here somewhere. If I can, I might have to chop down some of these trees or maybe put it up there. And uh, I think we're gonna need more cemeteries as well. It's filling up. But we'll worry about that some other time. All right, let's see. Uh, I kind of want to start building walls along here. I guess we'll just start over here. And we really should build this one up. I'll probably build this like four or five high. Maybe even, yeah, maybe I'll go five high on that so it can shoot way out at the boats. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, guys, uh, things are going pretty good. I think we're going to end the episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you did, a thumbs up would be much appreciated. Feel free to uh, share the video if you're that kind. <laughs> Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one.